guys this is a question taken from engineering service examination 2020 in india and here you has been asked to find the strain energy okay this is a question related to your strain energy you have to find the strain energy stored due to the bending of a cantilever beam okay so and the load is due to a point load so you are given two things first one is a, it's a cantilever beam and the point load is being applied at free end so point load is being applied here this is p and what is the length of the cantilever the length is l and other properties are also given that is flexural rigidity is ei and the load is sorry it is not p this is w okay so now the question is what is the total strain energy stored in this system okay so you know due to bending moment m let's say this is a element and you're applying bending moment here and it will bend like this let's say this is the radius of curvature r and this is theta you know the relation in bending moment that is may i follow you elizabeth running and here all the items you know my bending moment moment of inertia stress distance of fiber from neutral axis modulus of elasticity and the radius of curvature okay so if we simply pick up this two term we'll get relation m by i is equal to 1 by r and here e so your radius of curvature can be related with moment and this flexural rigidity by this formula okay and again let's say this is the length l this is theta and this is r you know that here l is simply r theta clear so what is the value of theta theta is nothing but your l by r so theta is l by r or l times 1 by r you know this is m by ei well if you apply a rotation theta by applying moment m what is the work done you know the work done is w here let's say the work done is uh, w dashed because the load is w okay so w dashed is nothing but m times theta by 2 and this work done is only valid for your very small deflection or very small rotation and you know this is valid for very small rotation let's say this is d theta okay and d theta tends to zero so the work done dw is moment times d theta by 2 okay so dw is m by 2 d theta is your in that case the length is also very small it is let's say dx which tends to zero so this is coming as m by ei times dx put this here and you're getting that m by ei times dx now if you integrate you will get the total work done which is w is equal to integration of m square dx by 2 ei so this is the strain energy caused due to a bending moment so the question here is it is cantilever beam the length is l and load is w simply put here take any section at a distance of x from free end so here what is the moment mx is simply w times x okay so you have got the value of moment at this section now apply it here in this equation your work done is coming as integration integration should be done from end 0 to l so it is 0 to l and moment is wx whole square times dx divided by 2 ei okay so if you integrate it you will get 0 to l divided by 2 ei this is constant 
and this is coming as w square times x square times dx okay so integrate it 1 by 2 ei and w square x square after integration become x cube by 3 and this varies from 0 to l so your work done for this system is coming as 1 by 2 ei w square l cube by 3 or w is equal to w square or work done here w dash is load square times l q divided by your 6 ei okay so you have got the concept and as well the answer also so the right answer is this one is your right answer w square l q by 6 ei